the big thing about mature cow size and carcasses is how big of a, a carcass are you going to get uh, in terms of value. And we know that, uh, you know, it isn't always necessary to have big cows to have heavy calves and, uh, and optimize to large size carcasses. We've had some thousand pound cows uh, that have uh, had progeny, uh, steer progeny that uh, had carcass weights of nearly a thousand pounds. And so uh, we know there's an impact, obviously bigger cows end up with bigger calves uh, for larger carcasses, but that isn't always the case if we, if we do some selection or some management to, uh, to have cattle that have a lot of muscle uh, and, and finish at an you know, optimal weight. Uh, what we're doing out here right now is part of a big research project. We've got uh, several scientists uh, from both NDSU uh, in Fargo and then the, out here in Dickinson at the Research Extension Center, where we've got uh, essentially two, these two herds of cows. We've got the, the larger frame, we call them beef uh, cows, and the smaller frame range type cows. And we uh, are two years into a, what we expect to be a very long-term research project, over 10 years, uh, trying to measure things on efficiency. We've done things like looking at weaning weights and then production per acre and, and done some cost analysis. And so we've got a lot of efficiency measures started. We started some reproductive measures and we'll take uh, the steer progeny off those and we'll do some meat science, meat quality things. Um, so it, it's kind of a neat project where we're looking at this whole cow efficiency idea. And then uh, with the cow size being one of the things we're gonna look at along with everything else we can measure. Our, our data is fairly preliminary at this point. Uh, on the little bit of carcass data we've got, again, we've seen similar yield grades, higher quality grades on, on lighter carcass weights, but still I'd consider optimal carcass weights. Um, we find that, uh, interesting enough, that some conventional measures of efficiency, those smaller cows uh, in general, are more efficient, um, even though they, don't, uh, they won't grow quite as, quite as fast, but when you start getting into things like gain to feed uh, and some other measures of efficiency, they actually do quite well. The one thing we said uh, with Aberdeen's is what we've seen in, in our data now is if you're looking to moderate cow size, uh, they can do it very quickly. And I think a lot of producers, uh, that may be a, a consideration for them is that they realize their cows maybe are too big for their range conditions. And so they can really rapidly, uh, they can take, uh, take some weight and some frame size off your first generation of, of females. Um, the next thing we, we see is that uh, from our, uh, in our data that we've looked, collected over a few years is uh, they have very high quality carcasses. Um, you know, they certainly uh, average choice, so things that would qualify for certified Angus beef. And they don't give up any muscling uh, in that as well, so their yield grades uh, and yields are actually really good. And so the, the first and most important thing is to get data. Uh, know your cow size, and if you can uh, work with feed yards or, or do feed outs or do some retained ownership on a handful of head, uh, so you know how your calves are actually finishing. Um, after that, the, you know, the management, if, if, if you're doing things right, then you're in good shape. Uh, you know, but if you don't have that data, it's hard to make those decisions.